Hello. First of all, can I get a bizam? Perfect. So, without further ado, welcome to GalaCon 2014. <laughs> it's a pleasure you've all been able to come, and we're really excited about all we have in store this year. So, I hope. You're, ho you're really going to have a great time. You're looking forward. You talk a peek at the con guides, maybe, just to see what we might have in store for you. Panels, workshops, guests, two types of them. So, do you maybe want to say hello to our guests, huh? A, a bit louder, maybe? That's more like it. That's more like it. So, I think we should say hello to our guests of honor first. Welcome them, give them a good welcome. And watch the screen. Northern Territories. No, not the Crystal Empire. I'm talking about Sweden and the magical continent of Europe. <laughs> well, it might be made of crystals up there as well, but anyways. Besides doing voiceover and animation, including more than six characters in the Swedish dub of your favorite pony cartoon show, she also does commercials for radio broadcasts, stand-up comedy, and voice mimicry of other celebrities. Nej, men ap apropå musik. Shakira tycker jag är kul att lyssna på. Hör ni mycket på henne? Nej, det är en där borta. Bara, ja. Nej, men så, Shakira, hon, ja, hon tycker hon är ganska okej. Okay, men hon, hon har lite schizofren röst, tycker jag. Det är liksom två lägen. Underneath your clothes, there's an endless story. There's a man I chose. Liksom, ska hon kräkas liksom? Vad händer, vad händer? Och i Sverige, vad har vi här? On top of that, she's just a nice and cheerful person. And boy, I don't know anyone who's ever made apple pie sound more seductive. <laughs> I alla fall Soren's apple pie. And Nelly heed every brony. Annelie, we have a special seat for you right up here. Don't worry about it. Annelie! There! <laughs> yes, the most special seats for your most special guests. Joining us from the beautiful land of Belgium, where a speaking and fancy joke? Oh, come on, that's not even right. <clears throat> she did voice acting in many well known anime in France. For example, Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh!, Naruto, and One Piece. In Friendship is Magic, she is the most elegant and most generous pony of them all. Rarity! <laughs> And like her other voice acting guests of honor, she has also acted in front of the camera in several movies. All I know is, it's so perfect. It's like wearing a second skin. Il est question de savoir si c'est admissible à la table ronde. Vous êtes mon conseiller, conseillez-moi. Mayors in 
and gentle stallions, fillies and colts, Lady Mademoiselle Julie Basquez. Applause! from Germany is an actor from the bottom of his heart. He started his career in theater and film, but today he also does voice acting in many forms. It would be an understatement to call him a veteran and a jack of all trades. Movies, animations, video games, cabaret, audio plays, you name it, he done it. Gebrauchsanleitung eines Hoteltelefons in Griechenland. <laughs> German bronies know him as a certain master of chaos. Wenn ihr doch nur eure schockierten Gesichter sehen könntet, unvergleichlich. But another role he is widely known for is dubbing the character named Data from Star Trek: The Next Generation. I said Star Trek. Seriously, you guys, working with pros for once. Ein Typ kommt in die Sprechstunde eines Arztes. Der Arzt sagt ihm, er müsse operiert werden. Der Typ sagt, er würde lieber noch eine zweite Meinung hören. Da braucht der Arzt. Außerdem sind sie noch sehr hässlich. Ah. War das komisch? Nein. <sighs> well, whatever. A warm welcome to Michael Pan. you something about Peter New. Most of you may only know him as the stallion of a few words, Big Macintosh, yep. as well as a few support characters. However, he has had a long list of roles he's played in many films and television shows. And like our other guests of honor, he has also voiced many characters in cartoons and anime and even some video games. For example, Littlest Pet Shop was supposed to walk into the largest ever pet shop, get past a spider web of blazes, disable a very expensive robot security guard and two mean girls, enter a day camp area made of half-inch plexiglass, and walk out with Zoe's sister? Piece of cake. Actually, I prefer pie. Inuyasha, Powerpuff Girl Z, and Mobile Suit Gundam Zero. But did you know he is also an award-winning screenwriter? Nope. Yup. That's true. So a warm welcome to Peter New. that Andrea Lidman lent her voice to both Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, two ponies whose characteristics could not be more different. But she's also done a lot of voice work for other animations and anime series. For example, in the recent remake of Maya the Bee. Maya! I'm the first to find a daffodil! <laughs> well, you're certainly the first to taste it. <laughs> Aww, that was adorable! Other appearances include roles in Pac-Man, Dragon Ball, Gundam, and many more. Not to forget, 
She has had some appearances as an actress in live action productions too. She played on the X Files. Child possessed by the soul of a brutal killer. What's wrong? They're killing me! She's not mommy's little angel anymore. Andre? Big deal. And Highlander the series. Can you please leave now? I'm playing. What's least known about Andrea is that she has a Bachelor of Applied Science in Civil Engineering, which she earned at the University of British Columbia. Hand her some scrap metal, a Swiss Army knife, and a blowtorch, and I bet she could build us a party cannon in no time. Well, maybe, probably not. But for now, a huge welcome to Andrea Lidman. But definitely not least, we have our awesome guests of honor from the community. Yes, bronies just like you. And that guy, or that girl over there. Let's begin with John Josco. Besides his own webcomic series, The Lounge, the fan art he creates, inspired by Friendship is Magic, is some of the most well-known out there. Because they are indeed beautiful and mind-blowing. Jen lives and breathes animation and is truly blessed with talent. Probably his most famous works are the music video for the song Picture Perfect Code. The Tumblr blog Ask the Crusaders and some other bizam stuff. <laughs> Acoustic Brony. This duo loves music, and it doesn't matter if it's a cover or a remix or a production of their own, it just sounds awesome. And yes, they love to perform live, which they will be doing this weekend. Serena Midori. She loves to draw as much as singing and voice acting. And speaking of that, do you ever have that weird feeling when somebody imitates your voice? Anyways, she also likes to collaborate with our last community guest of honor, Super Psy Guy, also known as Psy Guy. It doesn't matter what he does, it's always connected to his biggest passion, video games. Found a gift of great magic, cutie mark. She helps every single Billy. When they're off task and silly, solver of crime, traveler of time, making checklists in our sleep. He's known for creating music and remixes and being the boisterous host of his podcast, Watch Out! Jo Joseco! Yen Animations! Acoustic Brony 1 and 2! Gabby! And Psy Guy! And also, our wonderful DJs for the dance, H. Mitch and Foreigner, as well as Talofi from the Bronies for Good Charity. So give them a applause as well, come on. Well, I, well, I must admit, I forgot one especially important person. Without her, we wouldn't be here, so maybe I should have said something first. Welcome with me, Kani! Woo! <laughs> huh? Can I get a bazam? Yes. Perfect. So, I hope you have some time on your hands. Not so much, don't worry, we won't bore you, but... We all of our wonderful community guests are all contributing extremely importantly to this whole fandom. May it be with art, may it be with music. And we also have charity. And Tilofu just wants to say a few words about that so you guys know. 
If you want to help our ponies for good, doing some difference in the world, not just with pretty ponies, but also with doing a lasting, making a lasting impact on the world, Talofi will help you there. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I'm Talofi with uh, Dropio's News, but here um, to represent Bernie's for Good and your siblings. And um, we are fundraising for uh, um, a preview, so to speak, of the Seeds of Kindness 3 fundraiser, uh, which is for a project in Uganda, uh, an orphanage in Uganda, and a street children project in Burundi. And um, I'm downstairs, and we have prizes for donations. We are also um, doing the Nurse Red Hearts uh, Roundup for blood donations, and we have a letter drive. And I can take um, any donations there for um, our Seeds of Kindness 3 fundraiser. And you can even pre-order our album, which will be coming out sometime next month. A big um, release party will be announced. Wonderful. So remember, there's lots of ways to help. You can help us by buying something at the charity auction on Sunday. You can buy prints and other little, little, little gadgets at Talofi's booth. You can donate just for the heck of it because you're awesome. Everything works. You can also participate in the letter drive, the donor drive. There's so many ways to help and we really hope to see many of you there. So the thing is, we have these wonderful community guests and we might have a special warm welcome for them. Some of these special guests inspire all of us. I mean, I think pretty much all of them inspire us, don't they? We are here because they do fantastic work. And one, of the, and one, one little group of people has prepared an especially nice welcome for Andrea. So, I hope you have something to say about that because I'm curious as heck. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Um, hello. Hello, everypony. It's the finest welcome from all of your German fans, Andrea. We'd all like to thank you for your amazing work. <laughs> Over two and a half years ago, I thought, what is this strange bunch of people celebrating the kids' show? And now I'm here. <laughs> On the Galacon, standing in front of many bronies and giving this beautiful woman, which gives two very popular ponies this speech, uh, her voice, this speech. I can imagine that you have heard why, for my example, Fluttershy is such a great character for many bronies like me. Her kindness, her way to uh, overcome her own limits, her breathtaking cuteness, which should require a weapon license. 
in order to show it in public. <laughs> Uh, but another reason is also a sweet voice that gives this pony a personal touch. Andrea Lippmann, I would like to thank you for your great work and your dedication. Keep up the good work. I will wait with, I will wait with much anticipation for more. Hi, Andrea. I just would like to say thank you so much for bringing Pinkie Pie to life like you did and giving a soul to a character that has inspired a lot of us, and most definitely me. So, yeah, can I have a proof? Yeah. Awesome! <laughs> yeah! Andrea, you are very talented. You don't just voice characters, you bring them to life. I especially thank you for bringing Pinkie Pie to life, a pony just as unique as your voice. I really love this character, and so Pinkie and I have many opposed traits. Yeah, I'm not a party girl or anything. We also have a lot in common. Pinkie always reminds me, and I think many other people, to smile, to do my best making other people smile, to be open-minded and to be myself. Actually, I never thought that I was once a doll and even learn from a little pink cartoon pony. But, oh well, this kind of reminds me of my sympathy for Major the Bee when I was like kindergarten age. But enough personal chit-chat. Time isn't candy here at Galacon, so I guess time is ponies. <laughs> Andrea, take a look at this crowd. All these ponies are excited for the Galacon. Leaving alone your work on many other TV shows and movies, your voice acting in MLP makes many kids and grown-ups happy. You spread kindness and laughter all around the world. <laughs> yeah, speaking of elements, not only friendship is magic, a community can be magic as well, and the bronydom definitely is. You know, I just went on a bro German brony bird and I was like, hi, I've got an idea. Let's surprise Andrea Lippmann. And all these awesome people wanted to support me. By now, we don't only have a banner and a little welcome chorus for you. No, we can give you this present too. <laughs> Yeah, it's a plushie of your sea pony. Lan made it, hand made, a very talented sewer. I sure hope you like it. Love it. Yeah, you do? Love it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And Thank you so much. I really wasn't expecting this. It's really, it's so overwhelming. It's so wonderful. Um, so, yay. <laughs> and uh, I know this weekend is going to be awesome. I know all of us voice actors are really excited to be here, and the community guests were really excited to be here. So, let's go! That was wonderful. Thank you, guys. Absolutely great. Uh, see, that's why, that's why we do this con in the first place. To have all these wonderful people meet in one place. They can be themselves, they can just enjoy themselves, and they can share so many positive things. So that is act exactly why we're all here, and that is amazing. Yeah. Hooray for amazingness. <laughs> so, don't worry, the introductions won't be much longer. I know you're all excited to go out, enjoy the con. It's, it's hot, I know. Really sorry about that, but I guess the Pegasi did their job a bit too well. So, what I would suggest is that, right now, I just introduce you to my fellow con staffers as well. 
just so you know, if you need something, you know, who to talk to, who to blame, who to praise, all of that stuff that's part of a con experience. And then just a few more words for information for your enjoyment of a con, and then you'll be ready here. So we'll go get to that without further ado. I would like to ask my fellow con surfers to come to the stage. Don't be shy, you're awesome too. Give them up for them. <laughs> so, you'd like to have the microphone maybe? Huh? Hi, I'm Flick. I'm the deputy chairman of Brony CV and Thomas right hand. And um, I make sure that he doesn't forget something. <laughs> Hello, my name is Feyre and I'm um, secretary of the Brony's EV club. And also I'm uh, a con artist. I did some of the press note artwork and also the county on the banner outside. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, JJ. I'm responsible for finances of Galicon. So actually, I'm trying to make sure we're not broke after all of this. And I think it works out quite well so far. Well, hello, every pony. Um, I'm Desert Fox. I'm con chair of Bronies EV Club. And uh, well, I think this is all very wonderful to see you all here. Uh, we went to the venue a few days earlier and it was just empty and it, we couldn't barely imagine this huge crowd just filling the halls. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, Wetterhoof's the name, PR is my game. My body's ready, your body's ready. I'm. I'm in charge of the communication, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. I made them, I do the promotion. It's my fault if something explodes. Hi there, my name is Ronaldo. I'm responsible for all the volunteers who stroll around the con and look that everything is fine for you. Yeah, hello, I'm Staubrein and I help Ronaldo with the volunteers to make this con so awesome. And I guess there's also me. I'll be doing a lot of walking and yelling and talking on this very stage. So when you're in the main hall, it's very likely you see me here just <laughs> kind of trying to do my thing. I'm in charge of the events, coordinating all of the panels, workshops and everything you'll get to experience here, as well as assisting with PR and whatever else comes on. It is always something. So without much further ado, I like to just say a few words just regarding information the convent the convention. Most of the stuff you need to know is in your very con guides. Don't worry about that. You also have the timetable, the floor plan, and all other important major information about the convention. If you have a question, ask any of the people with an orange lanyard. This beautiful orange right here tells you that it's a staff person and they can very likely help you. If there is, if you, I mean, it's great, we have the vendors hall. It's amazing, have you seen all that stuff in there? Wow, that is incredible. But of course, you have luggage to storage all that stuff in there. So due to fire hazard reasons, I mean, we need to make sure this is all clear, you can use the pathways. So please make sure that you stash your big luggage in our cloakroom downstairs. It only costs a tiny fee. So it's definitely worth it to get, you know, all that stuff off of your off of your hooves, so get, make sure you do that. Small bags are allowed, but as long as they're you know, carryable with one hand, basically. I think there's, is there anything else I forgot? I always forget something, but 
Do we be tall? I think, yeah, we pretty much got it. Sadly, there has been one change to our schedule. We announced it on the website, but announced it again just to make sure, because maybe some of you were looking forward to it. I certainly was. Penguin Brown, you can't make it, sadly, due to personal obligations. You had to go to work, basically. So the song lyric workshop will not happen. Very sorry about that, but I'm sure Penguin will appreciate, you know, can you get like a little applause for Penguin, just in case he's watching right now? And yes, thanks to the contributions of all of these people, including many who haven't been on the stage, like the artists who drew for us, assistants who helped us in preparation. All of them made this possible, so without much further ado, please enjoy Galacon! Remember, I mean, y'all, you can go all your ways, but remember, later on, there's going to be the cosplay contest. Many great submissions have been made this year. It's going to be a blast. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure you stay back here in time. The exact time is in your con schedule. So now, go and enjoy the con. Yeah. 